Welcome to Battle Truth, in my point of view. Oh, no, you! So I'm not a hater. I could only give you the facts that's written on these papers. And since we have no dealings, therefore the court can care the less about your feelings. I'm the Honorable Malachi Markilius, your presiding judge, chairman and spokesperson for the One United Front. You are my witnesses and jury. You may be seated. Court is now in session. Let's talk about it. So the battle rap community is still in heavy conversation back and forth about who really won this battle between Hitman and Cassidy. For the most part, it appears that the Cassidy fans, you know, and supporters try so hard to fight for his... How could I put this? They try so hard to fight for his... <laughs> they try to keep him alive in an era where he died tragically, being exposed for not being able to adapt to what battle rap has become. A brother of his stature, pride, and arrogance allow him to see that nothing is wrong with his style that he brings in today's era of battle rap, which has become an error to him. This has become an error to him because a lot of his fans hurt him by not telling the truth. And it's sort of like, <laughs> it reminds me of a parent who inspire their children and tell them they good when they not that good. And then they go around people who have to be honest with them. And then they think the people who being honest with them is lying or hating because they've been told they've been good their whole life and they really wasn't good. That's just something that a parent's supposed to install and inspire in their children. That's what this reminds me of. Well, here's the thing. I had to go to all these channels, all the major channels in battle rap. And there's no disrespect to the ones that's going to come up. But all the ones with 20 or 30,000 or more that looked at it being the ones who hold the culture down, I had to go to all their channels, the battle rap medias. To see what they thought and what was there and what was there, um, what was their recap on this battle. Now, when I did the recap on my channel, me and Julian both had Cassidy losing three zip, three zip. So. Me and Julian had Cassidy losing three zip. Okay? Clearly. No debates. Also, Battle Rap Trap. And both his hosts had Cassidy losing this battle also. By the fly. Showtime FP. By the fly, didn't really want to give an answer because he didn't like all the stuff that was going on in the battle with both sides born. But his co-host, Showtime FP, also have Hitman winning three zip. Three Letter Man also have Hitman winning three zip. Battle Rap Fanatic has Hitman also winning. Unbiased Review also have Hitman winning. Jay Black Champion also have Hitman winning, according to him, 2-1 clear. No debate. Hip Hop is real, didn't say, didn't give a say. Needed the 15 minutes of fame. They try to stay neutral and play both sides for the most part, depending on who in front of their camera. So, they didn't give a say. 
So the only two bloggers, 20,000 or, or more, 20,000 or higher, the only two bloggers that actually have Cassidy winning is Angry Fan and Piper Boy. Them the only two that have Cassidy winning. Everybody else have Cassidy losing. Everybody else had Cassidy losing. So eight, eight of the ten top bloggers in battle rap all have Hitman winning. Only two have Cassidy winning. Only two have Cassidy winning. So eight have Hitman winning and two have Cassidy winning. So Hitman won when it comes to the overall culture of the ones who professionally covers this. Who professionally covered it? I was I, I that took me by surprise because I wasn't expecting Jay Black to say he Cassidy won, seeing that he from Philly. I also wasn't expecting for Vada Flynn to say that uh, Hitman was going to win. I wasn't expecting for them. I was expecting them to go for Cassidy. I was expecting Jay Black to go for Cassidy. Um. I also was expecting unbiased to go for Cassidy. That was not the case. All of them had Cassidy losing. All of them had Cassidy losing. Angry Fan and Piper Boy, the only one got Cassidy winning. So what do that say? Ten of the most respected battle rap bloggers in the game, according to, you know, Fans, because again, we we going twenty thousand subscribers or more. Twenty thousand subscribers or more, all got Cassidy. Uh, eight eight out of ten got Cassidy losing. So Hitman definitely won the culture. Hitman won the culture. Like I said, fans who talk, okay, fans supposed to say what they say. That's fan. But for the professionals who cover this, let's just keep it real. When you're giving losses to people, when you're giving losses to people, and for the most part, it seems like everybody got it right. Who honestly doing the honest assessment, who know bars, who actually listening, breaking it down without being biased. I don't feel anybody who honestly know bars, honestly know battle rap with a clear conscience in a pure heart, could watch this battle and get this thing wrong. I'm sorry, because it wasn't that close at all. Like, mostly everybody on here saying clear. Everybody on here saying clear. This is clear. So, I don't know, man. Shock value is a mug. Popularity is a mug. You know, um, but he definitely won. The culture. So Hitman won the culture. And as a result of that, you know, I don't think he paying attention. I think he 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 focusing more on the negativity and the backlash he getting. Because even though, let's just keep it real, even though we all, for the most part, had Hitman winning, I think we we criticized him for not being as good as we used to getting from him. But I'm going to keep it real with you, though. But if you go back and actually listen and pay attention, he was saying some stuff because he was consistent. He was consistent throughout every round. He was consistent. Every now and then, a bar may fall like it normally do for anybody in battle rap. But um, when you go back, he was solid and consistent throughout all three rounds. All three rounds. And um, and that's another thing for us. 
we tended to look more so at the negativity because we so used to him him being explosive and he got the title of being like the number one performer in battle rap history and he actually did good he actually did good for them we, the more and more you watch it the more and more the more and more it it seemed like in the beginning when it first happened the expectations is so high that your anticipation of it is also at a at an equal balance to the expectation. So your anticipation of him doing and reaching the expectation is high. And when you don't get it, you tend to look for fault. But once the shock value is over and the dust settled, and now you're familiar with what happened and you assess it, you clearly still see him winning. And you don't see him really as bad as it appeared in the beginning because of the expectations were so high. So with that being said, um, he definitely won the culture. He won the culture. That's something, um, that's something that uh, that's clearly shown. We took the top 10 battle rap bloggers in battle rap according to the numbers and uh, fan pop fan popularity 20,000 subs or better and 8 of the 10 all got hit man winning 8 of the 10 got hit man winning okay and for the most part everybody's saying clearly so this wasn't even debatable it wasn't even that close for people to get it wrong it wasn't even that close for people to get it wrong. Come on, man. Eight out of ten. And mostly everybody who had Hitman winning saying clear. Come on, man. Speak for itself. Like, come on. We need to be. And keep in mind, some of these people had more than one person on the panel. Like when uh Jay Black was doing his, he had Ace I mean up there and Easy to Block Captain. Both of them. Ace I mean and uh Jay Black both had Hitman winning. Easy, you know, he from Philly, so you know how that go. Plus he a young dude, so a lot of them people be wanting. Uh, 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 look, here's the thing what I'm finding out. Most of the people who trying to vote for Cassidy want Cassidy to acknowledge them. In, in, in some way or another. I'm sorry. It just it is what it is. I like Vodafly said something that 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 was I liked that that slogan he said dang I, I'm gonna mess it up I ain't gonna even say it right but he said something like the truth sound like hate he said something like the truth sound like hate only to the people that hate the truth the truth sound like hate only to the people that hate the truth something like that I was like that's a nice that's a good that's a good saying that was a good saying, you know what I'm saying? And um, that was a good saying. And that's what the people do. A lot of people get truth mixed up with hate because they hate the truth, you know? So with that being said, it's your boy Battle Truth. It ain't my judgment, that's a question, it's yours. Shouts out to all the bloggers, you know what I'm saying, that got it right, unbiased. Uh, battle Rap Fanatic. Um, Jewel Gaming Lounge, Three Letter Man, Vodafly Showtime FP, J Black, Battle Rap Trap, um, and Caps and Piper Boy. I just think y'all need to just watch it again with a genuine heart, man, and actually just be fair, man. Just be fair, man. Because, see, it is what it is, though, man. It is what it is. It don't matter, man. However, however, 8 out of 10, man. 8 out of 10 all got Hitman winning. So, Hitman won the culture. And that's what matters the most. You won over the culture and the media, the people who've been covering this thing, who, for the most part, are supposed to be professional, who watch this stuff, and... um. Uh, supposed to be familiar with bars and battle rap and experienced in that field who've been here for a number amount of years, you know. 
And again, this ain't no knock to the people who didn't make it, who didn't make it except such as like, you know, Black Compass or DME Detroit or ADEP HNIC and Word Boy Battlegrounds, a fan point of view of Battle Rap Rankings. I ain't want to go through all those, every blogger in Battle Rap. I just took the ones for the most part that's recognized overall, you know what I'm saying, overall with 20,000 or better subscribers to basically have a nice hold on a large amount of the numbers in the battle rap community, you know, um, um, you know, so I just took those ones, you know, with 20,000 subscribers or better. Because, again, those are the ones who the fans, for the most part, hold as being um, respectable battle battle rap media. So, no disrespect to none of y'all at all. So, with that being said, it's your boy Battle Truth. It ain't my judgment. That's the question. It's yours. Hit the link in the description box. Subscribe to Battle Truth.